Hey, how's it going? It's me, Hayden, filming another music production tutorial for Phoenix Music. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to make a bass house drop. Well, technically, I'm going to be showing you a bass house drop that I've already made, but I'm, I'm going to be walking you through how I made it. So, um, yeah, if you find anything in today's tutorial helpful, don't forget to hit that subscribe button, drop a like down below, feel free to suggest a music production tutorial in the comments. And share this video if you have any producer friends. Okay, so let's begin. I'll start off by showing you the drop that I've made. So yeah, that's the drop. Now let's uh, look at some individual stuff. I'll start off with some drums. So we've got this kick drum. Standard EDM kick drum with a little bit of EQing on it. Then we've got this first clap. And this second clap. The second clap's just to make the first clap sound a bit more uh, punchy, I guess. Um, quickly let you have a look at this saturation. So, um, yeah. Then we've got this uh, little noise thingy like this. Um, that makes the drums sound bigger. It gives it more air, mainly the kick drum. Because if I play the drums together, that's what it sounds like with that little noise thing. But without it, sounds a bit dry now, doesn't it? So yeah, I added that little thing. Um, then I used the tail of a snare build to make a impact. So yeah, just like that, a lot of reverb on the snare to make a tail that big but anyway <laughs> um and we've got this little percussive sound we've got a hat one and a hat two uh and when we play all the drums together now so that's the drums and we've also got this uh little fill Pretty sure I got it off of Splice. To be honest, I got most of these drums off of Splice. But, um, yeah. <laughs> Have I missed any drums? Nope, that's all the drums. Okay, on to basses. So we've got the uh, kind of main bass, I guess, um, is what you would call it, of the drop. A lot of reverb that's kind of how you get that kind of power with the reverb i didn't know that until a few days ago but now i do and it's making my drop sound a lot bigger <laughs> um and then we've got this uh, stab sound so a bass stab um then we've got another bass stab and another bass stab um, and when you play all these together, they kind of work together to build the rhythm. So, yeah. Um, then on to effects. We've got this brass stab. That's just to make the bass stab sound a bit more noticeable because it was kind of getting lost in the mix. It needed something with uh, a bit more tonal frequencies, if you get what I mean, to make it stand out a bit. Um, we've got this white noise, which just makes the first hit of each loop uh, 
hit a bit harder you've got this little stutter effect we've got a laser we've got a uh, panned reverse and another panned reverse if you want to know how to make these little things that's in my previous video um, we've got a vocal shout not really a shout more of a vocal effect I'd say but uh, it was in the uh, vocal shout category so I just decided to name it a vocal shout um, we've got this reverse thing we've got a little perk thing a percussion um, and we've got this little simp thing here and yeah that's the effects if I play everything I've shown you so far we should have something like this um, So yeah, um, then we've also got an impact in this empty space here, we've got a little clock sound, we've got a string fill kind of thing if that's what you want to call it, and another shout. Um, and yeah, that's the effects. Uh, I've also added a few extra things down here, but I haven't coloured them and added them into the group channels because I'm still editing them. But I'll quickly show you them. We've got this clap fill. Um, and another bass stab layer. Um, and I'll show you what those sound like uh, in the track. When you don't have them in, mainly the clap is the one that adds more because then you've got and so yeah, um, and then on to the instrument stuff like the leads and things like that. So We've got this uh, lead here. Oops, if I actually turn it on. <laughs> if you look here, we've got an automation on the reverb. So the reverb comes in in the empty spaces, but it's not on when the notes are actually playing. Then we've got two more leads, but I won't bother showing you those because I'm probably not going to keep them. I don't think they really work well as layers, but I'll show you this harmonic layer. So when you play that with the main lead, so yeah, it makes it sound a bit more dark i guess <laughs> um then we've got this and we've got this and we've got these chords then we've got uh this string loop thing just to add some variation every now and again um, and one thing I forgot to show you in the effects is this little riser thing to finish off the drop so 
So yeah, when you play all this together, you get So yeah, that's how you make a bass house drop. Um, I hope you liked this tutorial. If you did, don't forget to hit that subscribe button, drop a like down below, feel free to suggest a music production tutorial in the comments and share this video if you have any producer friends. Also uh, stay tuned because I'll be making an announcement on the channel uh, sometime this month hopefully maybe next month but it's a big one record label stuff so stay tuned for that um and yeah i'll see you in the next video